All right, everyone. Welcome back to Truck Tra Transwest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. And today we're going to bring you a really special little trailer. It's not something you see a lot of. Um, they're kind of rare. We have a lot of three horse and four horse using trailers on this lot, but we really only carry one of these two horse slants in inventory at a time. So this trailer is a 2019 Cimarron Northstar two horse gooseneck. And while a lot of people only have two horses, a lot of times they'll get that third, that third stall just in case they need a little storage or something like that. We've actually set this trailer up particularly for those people that, that want a lot of storage in their trailer, but they really are only hauling two horses, one to two horses. So this is stock number 5N180. 452 and it is a 2019 so it is time for this trailer to find its new home. This trailer is a really nice well optioned two horse gooseneck. Since we don't carry very many of them in inventory we did want to make it so that it was very usable for anybody that wanted to pull home a two horse gooseneck. So this trailer is 16 feet six inches on the floor. It's seven six wide. So as you'll notice, um, you don't have quite so much wheel well sticking out there. And it's seven four tall. So this is a great trailer for some of those people hauling slightly larger horses um, that just need a little bit more room to be comfortable. As you'll notice, um, we have the wraparound nose style, as well as the 53 inch gooseneck drop wall. So that's if you've watched some of our previous videos, it's great for the newer trucks, which are getting taller and taller. So as we work our way down, you'll notice when I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of storage on this trailer. Um, we have a really big um, five foot short wall on this trailer. So you're gonna have a lot of room up front to throw those, those boxes and, and bins and all your tack. Um, as we're working our way around, I wanted to kind of point out we have 16, um, 16 inch tires on this with aluminum wheels, which comes standard from Cimarron. Every new Cimarron is going to have aluminum wheels. That little green cap right here means it is they are nitrogen filled, which gives it a little more stability in the PSI for these extreme temperature fluctuations that we get in Colorado. One day it can be 30 degrees, the next day we're, we're hitting 80. So we like to have those nitrogen filled tires just to have a little bit more stability. Um, we've got 5,200 pound axles, two 5,200 pound axles on this trailer. They are rubber torsion. So you've got plenty of axle underneath, underneath this trailer. As you'll look above, we've got bus windows on the hip side. These aren't your chintzy small little bus windows that you get on some trailers. They have lots of airflow, really big, great for horses riding in the back. As we work our way around, um, I'm just going to close this one up here really quick for a moment. I wanted to show you guys these hinges we've got on the back. So on these big, these big doors, we've got five grease cert hinges and there's actually over six inches of framing on these doors and drop downs that you can't see. So these are really strong sturdy doors that will last you with your trailer. And of course every door has a hold back so you're not fighting it in the wind. So it can get pretty windy out here in Colorado. So on this trailer um, like I said, we have optioned it as much as we can pretty much on a two horse. Um, we've got this folding rear tack and right now we have the saddle racks in the back. In a moment, I will, we're, we're going to do a demonstration where we show you how easy these are to move back and forth and fold up. Say you needed to throw a four wheeler back here or you have a horse that's a little sticky about loading in a smaller area, you can remove this saddle rack post, put it up in its it's predestined place up front and you can fold this back so that you have plenty of room for those horses to load. 
since this trailer is a little bit of ex bit extra wide um, you have a better chance of loading those rangers and those side by sides we just had somebody pull out of here this week that he was using it as a cargo trailer and a horse trailer so he needed to make sure that he had plenty of clearance to get that vehicle in there um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is we've done a couple videos on these mats and maintenance of your aluminum floors. So I have a little cutout here of Cimarron's floor. So you've got four inch centers and this triangle here adds additional support. So these, these Cimarron's have the strongest aluminum floor on the markets, on the market. <laughs> but we want to maintain that floor. So with every Cimarron that have, has rubber mats that's new, we'll throw in one of these mat pullers and these are going to make your life so much easier moving these heavy duty mats in and out of your trailer. You just slide this right under here and you can just easily lift it up and slide those right out. So look for one of these in the purchase of your new Cimarron trailers. All right, so you're starting out with the strongest foundation. I also wanted to touch on the roof. So in one of my last demonstrations, I jumped on the roof. Uh, this trailer does not have a ladder up to it. It's a little harder to get on. So we wanted to show you the strength of the roof from the bottom as well. These roofs are very strong. It's a fiber tech, sorry about that. It's a fiber tech roof with a honeycomb um, fiberglass panel, core, sorry. So it, it's a polypropylene honeycomb core that is actually um, waterproof. So say for any reason you did have a puncture or something up top, um, the water, if it gets down there, it's not going to rot out that roof. This roof is seamless, so you're not going to have any issues um, with water getting down into seams of, a tra of this trailer and causing any issues either. Um, this trailer has an R3 thermal value, so not only does this provide um, strength and durability, it also provides a little bit of a cooling effect, so your horses are having a cooler ride in this trailer. There's a gel coat finish on the top and the bottom. Um, we have a big cutout that we can show you if you come here. Um, it's really shiny on top, and that's to help with any UV degradation that could happen um, with the sunlight beating down on it. It's also flexible, so as you go down the road, this roof is gonna flex and form. You're not gonna see any cracking or any issues like that. So this is one of the best selling features of a Cimarron. You get a really strong, really durable, really cool roof, as well as a really cool floor system. Um, on this roof, we also make sure that Cimarron uses a really heavy duty. It's more expensive than other sealants out, out on the market, but it's a Dow Corning 791 seal. And what it does is it stays flexible. It doesn't dry rot and crack. Um, so that seal will outlast a lot of other seals that are on the market. In here, um, like I said, you've got your wheels, wells in here. That's one of the, the tips that this, or one of the clues that this trailer is a little bit extra wide. Um, so your horse does have a little bit more room We've also optioned this trailer so that the stalls are a little bit wider. So this first stall out here is actually 42 inches wide to give those horses a little bit more room that are bigger. And then this second stall is actually 48 inches wide um, to give, like I said, if you're loading warm bloods or anything like that. The standard size is 39. We wanted this trailer to be really versatile for anybody that's looking for a two horse. So we tried to go with, with something that was a little upgraded for those options. So in this trailer, we've got these, these corner feed bags. Um, so if you're going down the road, um, we'll, drop, we'll drop down the windows on the other side. They're really easy to load, feed your horses. You don't have to unload to feed them. It's a really great little feature. Um, we've done a padded divider. Um, not only is it a little more comfortable if your horse is bumping up against it, if you've got grays or anything like that, aluminum will actually rub on those grays and you'll see those aluminum marks. Um, 
so it's it's really great to have these pads here so that you don't have those 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 unsightly marks on your gray and white horses um, up at top we've got our roof fence for a little more airflow Yep, so these, div these dividers, they're extruded aluminum, so they're all aluminum, so you've got a little bit of weight sa savings, but they're also really, really strong. By doing the extrusions in these, it adds a lot of strength while also cutting back on weight. So we've got really, really strong um, aluminum dividers. For our dividers, you'll notice that we don't have a lot of metal-to-metal -metal contact in these trailers. We have a roof that deadens the sound. We don't want to make it loud everywhere else for the horses. So we really try and avoid any metal to metal contact. Um, we use a really high quality, um, high grade plastic that will actually wear less than if you were to do a metal to metal. Um, so everything in here is kind of designed around the horse. So right now, we're gonna show you guys some of these fun features of this folding rear tack. So CJ is here to demonstrate while we kind of fold this rear tack away. So like I said, if you do have a horse that is a little bit um, sticky to load in a smaller space, one of the really easy things to do is remove this saddle rack post and put it in its location up front. So once you've got that folded back, it's really simple just to push it right against the wall. And it fits right in there. So now if you needed to load that four-wheeler or that horse, you've got a lot of space for this last horse and a lot of it just a really easy, clear path for them. So now we're gonna go meet CJ on the other side while he brings that saddle rack in. A lot of people wonder why we've got this pass-through door into the horse area. It doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense to some people. Um, it seems like it would be a lot easier if you could just walk right through. However, having the framing where the horse leans against is the best thing we can do. If you've got a thousand plus animal that wants to knock against this wall, you want the framing to support them. You don't want to forget to lock this and have your horse bust in and be in your tack room when you get somewhere. So right now we're going to walk through. CJ's going to show us how easy this is to put back in. So we've got the leverage points up above. It just snaps right into place. And then you've got a locking pin, and you are good to go. Thank you, CJ. So having these removable saddle racks, is it, these saddle rack posts, is an awesome, awesome option for these trailers because if you needed to, you can use this entire area for storage and have the rear tack for your saddles. We can even order you an additional saddle rack post if you have too many saddles to fit on one post. If you did want to add a couple um, saddle rack holders um, in here, these are completely adjustable. It's just a little loosening of the bolts and you can slide these up and out and add more on there. So say you needed to haul eight saddles, that's something that we can easily make happen on this trailer. So in this trailer, We've decided to go for the rubber mats on the floor as opposed to the carpet. Even though we use a marine grade carpet on these, on these trailers, so the marine grade carpets, they're a faster drying carpet. They're not the plush carpets you have at home. So you'll notice if you spill some water or something on this, it'll kind of pool on top. So it's really easy to wipe everything away. Um, they're more mildew and rot resistant than a typical carpet and they're really easy to clean with just some soap and water. That's one of the reasons we love doing this, but nothing beats a mat for spilling things or tracking mud in. Um, it's just incredibly easy to clean, especially with that mat puller. The same concept that you use to get your mats out in the rear, you'll use on these ones up front. 
Um, so you can actually just pull these all out and hose it down and you're good to go. So in this trailer, we do have lights. So if you are hooked up at night, um, you can get in and out of your tack room comfortably and be able to see very well. Um, we've got the carpeting behind the bridle hooks, like I said. Um, if you do need a few more bridle hooks on this trailer, besides what was in the rear tack and up here, that is something we can add on. Um, we've got plenty of wall here to throw some more black bridle hooks. Um, so this trailer has, I'm going to have you turn around and kind of show what a big door we have here. So this is a 42 inch door on this trailer. So if you are carrying big bulky items up in this trailer, you've got a lot of room to do so. Um, those western saddles are really hard to get in and out of those smaller doors. So we really like optioning them with these big doors for ease of use. And last but not least, um, we've got your brush box, which I like to throw on on any door I can. I like to have things really easy to grab and go, um, brushes and um, detergents and everything like that. I like to throw them in here. There's some drain holes in here, so this is super easy to rinse out in the event that you needed to do so. And then the last but not least, um, these are our drop downs from the opposite side. I mentioned that there's over six inches of framing that you can't see behind these drop downs that gives them a lot of strength and durability. So I would not recommend doing this with certain trailers, but these Cimarron's are built to take some abuse. If you did need to throw some hay in those corner feed bags that we were talking about earlier, this grate easily slides in and out so that you have really easy access to your horses. So like I said, this is a really great option for someone that wants just a lot of storage but doesn't really need to haul three horses. Maybe you just have one or two, um, especially if they're a bigger horse. This is a great trailer. It's a 2019, so it's something we really want to find a new home for. So give us a call. Our main number is 303-684-3400, and we can help you bring this trailer home today. Thank you.